guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today is gonna be kind of a part two, but also I have like a spinoff of this video. So we're getting very meta, if you will. But today I wanted to talk about products that I liked so much. I went back and bought like a different shade of that exact same product. Yeah, it's kind of simple. I think you get it. The video that I did before this, I talked about one-off products in my collection. So products that it's the only item I have from that brand and it's the only color I have too. So there weren't even duplicates in color. And one of you guys suggested that I do a video showing you products that I have multiple colors in. And the reason I'm doing like a part two, which you guys will see tomorrow to this kind of concept is that there are really two ways that I will buy products in multiples. So one way is I buy one and I enjoy it so much that I'm like, oh my gosh, what other colors are there? I'm so excited. Let's like try those out. And it's kind of this slower process. Like I've tested it. I've made sure I liked it. And then I continue to explore new colors and whatnot. The other method, which will be talked about in tomorrow's video is the all in bitch method. And that method is, um, <laughs> you just order them all at the same time. So you don't know what this formula maybe is. You maybe are getting a really good deal on them. So maybe there's like a sale going on. Maybe you've been wanting to try the brand for a while and you're just kind of putting all your money on black. You know what I mean? And <laughs> you're just fingers crossed, hoping that that stuff's gonna work for you. Because if not, not only do you have one item that you might not like, but you have four or six or whatever. So I'm gonna talk about those items tomorrow. In this video, all these items were bought slowly over time and I liked the first one enough to go back for some more. So let's just get into it. I have 10 products to talk about, so it's gonna be a long one. First, let's talk about something that I'm really glad that I got to try out from a subscription box. This is from Fenty Beauty and this is the Trophy Wife Highlighter. It is a beautiful shimmery golden color. I remember when this came out, I kind of just wrote this off a little bit because as a highlighter for me, it's not really gonna work. You can sheer it out and maybe in my tannest moments, the sheerest way, I could wear this traditionally as a highlighter. But how I really like to use this is as a topper for my eyeshadow. So I like to like tap this into the brow bone, put this on the inner corner, put it all over the lid. I think it is so beautiful. There's such a pretty sparkle to this highlighter that I feel like pictures online don't do justice. And once I had it in my hand, I was like, oh, that's why this is so beautiful. So I really love this product. And because I finally tried this out, it led me to pick up the What A Brat highlighter, which again is another one that isn't a traditional, you know, like safer highlighter color. It is pink and this one's even more like textured. It has like this silver sparkle to it. I was Able to get a great deal on this so that is another factor that influenced me to buy this I don't know if I would have picked it up full price but for like the nine dollars it was on boxycharm because of my experience with the trophy wife I was like oh yeah that's gonna be beautiful I could use this as a blush topper I could use it as something kind of drapey along with again using it on the eyes as an extra sparkly topper and I like both of these for more simple looks they tend to work out when I want to go a little bit more minimal I want to keep my skin really clean and a little bit glossy and just have like this and like mascara on my eyes. Such a pretty, pretty look. So that is what a brat and um, I picked it up after trying Trophy Wife. And my experience with these two products definitely keeps me looking out for some of the highlighters or any of these types of products from Fenty because I do think that they're really pretty. I guess I'll continue on with the other two highlighters I have in this video. The first one here is from Natasha Denona. This is the Super Glow. I picked this up off of her website in 2020. Um, I think there was some type of sale. So I think I did get this on a discount and I have the shade I picked up number two I think yeah this is number two this is a beautiful highlighter one of my favorites in my collection definitely in the top I don't even know five definitely in the top five this definitely gives you kind of that wet gelée look it's very thin it doesn't have like a powdery texture to it it adds quite a bit of shine definitely super glow gives you an idea of what this product's gonna do and it's just so beautiful so after trying this I had all of Natasha Denona's highlighters on my list like if it's in a palette if it's in a single like I'm eyeballing it really hard and so initially the next highlighter I picked up was actually the holiday highlighter last year so I'll put a picture up here that it actually did not work out okay <laughs> and this is something I want to note in here and I wanted to mention at the beginning but I forgot I want to point out that just because you like something in one color and you love that formula doesn't mean you need or will even love the other colors as much it's maybe a good indicator that you might 
but I think sometimes it's really easy to trick ourselves, confuse ourselves, or get excited about adding new things to our collections, and it might seem like a safe buy to add another color of your favorite product into your collection, but I feel like there can be a limit to that, and I think it's just something to watch out for as an excuse to buy something that really actually won't be something that you use or enjoy in your collection. A lot of the times we pick up in the first time or maybe the second time our favorite colors, the ones we're gonna use the most, and then after that, we're kind of finding excuses to buy other shades of that same formula. But if you're not going to use it, it's not going to get used, even if it's a great product, even if it's in a great formula. There might have been a reason you didn't pick that color up initially, and maybe you still don't need it, even if you love the formula. I don't think just because a formula is good, you need to buy the entire range. I actually would say for the most part and for most items, I, w I wouldn't suggest and I don't think you should. I like having a varied collection and I know I'm always gonna wanna try new things so um, I try to keep that in mind when I'm buying. I just wanna point that out and give that to you to think about. Okay, anyway, the holiday highlighter that came out last year, I did not like. The formula to me was not good. It was not shiny in the way that I expected, in the way that it looked when it was pressed. Like, it just wasn't good to me. I did not like. So that was disappointing, but it didn't stop me. I, <laughs> I carried on. And so when I found this highlighter, again, this was on sale. That can be something that tempts me to buy a second of something if the sale on it's pretty good. You know I have to love, love, love it though if I'm going to go buy something full price on the second one because that's how good it is. Anyway, okay. This is the Natasha Denona highlighter in glow. So it's not like the actual super glow formula, but I thought it would count enough for this video. And and this is in the shade number one, and this one isn't quite as shiny as the other one, and I was a little nervous about that, but for $9 for this highlighter, I couldn't not. I couldn't not do it. I don't know if you're gonna see the difference. So this is the number two, the first one I showed you, and this is the number one, this one. It definitely doesn't have that high shine, but this looks so beautiful on the skin. I think like when people talk about a candlelit glow, this is what this gives. It doesn't give you outer space glow, it gives you candlelit, sexy dinner, more natural highlighter, but I don't mean natural in, I feel like sometimes I equate natural to a boring look or something I don't want, but it's more like, it's just kind of understated and although it's there and it's looking beautiful and I could still see people being like, oh, your highlighter looks so good, it's not so in your face. And I love both of them. I I am super happy with them. So there was a dead in the middle, but the two on the ends really worked out for me. Let's throw in some eyeshadows. I have a lot of eyeshadows in here. I'm gonna start with the palette. So first here, this is from BH Cosmetics. This is the Blueberry Muffin palette. And I picked this up kind of on a whim last Black Friday. I had heard a lot of good things about it. And so I wanted to give it a go. And I think this is a beautiful palette. It's really well done. It's interesting, it's cool toned, it's very blue, but you could do neutral as well. I really love it and there is some nice texture in here especially for the price I think with the sale going on I got this for I want to say like either $11 or max 15 like it was not over 15 and really I was just thoroughly impressed with the formula with the colors in here and I thought it was well done so this and my experience with it definitely led me to pick up these ones <laughs> I picked these up in spring of this year from Ulta this is the Los Angeles palette kind of a sucker because you know LA plus the inside these are definitely my types of colors they're light and bright and that's kind of what I like to do if I'm gonna go colorful so this one also has some really beautiful textures in it as well I'm very happy with this palette and again it was another one that I kind of picked up more on a whim like not as planned out maybe as some of my other ones but so far again really happy with it it's a nice one the other one that I picked up at that same time so both of these were purchased together this is smitten in Switzerland and it's another one of those 16 pan palettes from BH Cosmetics. This one's definitely more neutral. It has kind of a grungy tone. I think this one works really well for fall and winter. This one doesn't have quite the same textured shadows and I feel like it has a little bit more mattes in it, but I do like this vibe, especially right now. You guys know I've been loving the neutrals. So yeah, I, I'm very happy with these. I will say this is one of those ones that I try not to get too caught up in collecting. I think these are very collectible palettes and that can be fun and maybe you're into that, but for me, I try to not get too caught up because I've done that before and really um, it becomes more about like having and completing the collection than it is about 
liking the color story, actually using the product, and when I'm thinking about my budget and the things I wanna house in my collection, I want them to be things that I love and use regularly or want to use regularly even if I'm not getting to them at the moment. So I'm not sure when the next palette is gonna get me and I've definitely kept that in the back of my mind, but I've really enjoyed the ones I've tried so far. I wanna talk about some eyeliners. These are from Pixi and I picked up, I think this is the one I picked up first. I'm pretty dang sure. Maybe not. I don't I don't know why I can't remember which one I picked up first, but I know I picked up just one, but I have two shades. Anyway, I guess it doesn't does it matter? I'm not sure. This is matte mulberry and it's a beautiful like purpley wine type shade. It's like the perfect neutral yet not neutral color and I love using this with brown looks, with purple looks, with pink looks. Like it just works with so much and I love that it is just a cream so there's no shimmer to it um, and these are very creamy. They're blendable but they do set down so once they're there they're going to stay in place. I really enjoyed the formula so I got one of them I think through BoxyCharm points or somewhere through Box charm I'm telling you boxy charm a lot of the time gets me some good deals okay the other color is really beautiful and it's a shimmery shade this is called I think rose gold rose glow oh my gosh not gold <laughs> but it is a really beautiful shimmery almost bronzy taupe color and I love using this on the lower lash line I tend to top it with another shadow but sometimes I don't and I find that this gives a really sultry look because of that shimmer and I've really enjoyed adding a little bit of shimmer on the lower lash line so this one is beautiful um, both of them are beautiful I could see even into the future if I saw these on sale I don't know if I'd pay full price not because they're not worth full price I just have a lot of stuff So it's like there's no need for me to get a brown eyeliner from pixie right now because I have other browns But if there was a pretty good sale Maybe if I were picking up a few other things I might add that to my basket knowing I'm gonna love it and use it So these are really great and I find that these two colors are quite unique in my collection while still being neutral And I love that as well. So great formula great colors really love those I realized that this is gonna be all things I love because if I've gone back to purchase that means there had to be some love at some point somewhere let's talk about some Rowan products because Rowan is definitely a brand that I have a bit of a soft spot for especially as I've tried them over time it took me a second to do it because I do feel like Rowan's expensive and it's also taking me a little bit of time to kind of grow into this neutral luxury type vibe that I'm feeling right now and I feel like Rowan is like that in 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 a nutshell you know first I want to talk about these lip products because they are like some of the best lip products if I had one lip product to recommend to you guys that I wear all of the time the most and I feel like is worth the most full price I think it would be these like if they're that good if we're not counting lip liners so these are the liquid lip balms yes that's the name I first got Charlie from BoxyCharm I got Charlie for I think nine dollars which I think I think right now if BoxyCharm's still doing their sale, they have Charlie for $5 on their site. So go buy it. I don't tell you guys to do that, but if it's there, not sold out, sale's still going on, you will thank me later, okay? Just, I trust me, okay? <laughs> Charlie is the one that I love the most. This formula is so great. It's very translucent, has a little bit of color, just enough to waken your lips up, but not be too much. I can wear this alone. Sometimes I like to just kind of very lightly outline my lips and use this for a very natural look. This feels so so decadent, so amazing, so plush on your lips. I love the feeling. The applicator, everything about it feels really fancy and nice as well. This does have a minty smell, so keep that in mind. It feels moisturizing and I just love this product. It's just a great product. Like simple, yes, but it's like sometimes the most simple products where it's like, I just want this much of a tint are so hard and like it's hard to find it where it actually hits the bullseye on all those little requirements, you know, because it's just subtle changes from brand to brand and product to product. But this one to me hits my bullseye. So I love, love, love Charlie. That one's the color that I do recommend. I loved that so much. <laughs> I went to Rowan after paying $9 for this. I went on the site and I went and bought Remy for full price, which was like, I think almost $30 is how much these retail for. And that kind of hurt, but I'm telling you, I do think that if you can't find it on a deal, buying the one color you think will suit you best will be worth it, okay? <laughs> like even for that high price, I know, I know, who am I? Remy is definitely an example of, I don't love it as much as I love Charlie. Like Charlie has my heart, Remy is nice, but I think something about it being just slightly lighter does leave it looking a little bit more, take this with a grain 
this out. They both look very natural, but a little less natural on my lips. So there's just something to it. It's just a little bit lighter than my natural lip. And so when I put it on, I just like to be aware of that. Overall though, I'm just nitpicking because I love this one so much. So I think you can just find the one you want and you don't need both. But I only say that because I have both and now no. <laughs> if I just had Charlie, I would be like, oh, I can't wait to get all of them. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Really great. And if you can get Charlie on that good of a steal, oh my gosh, guys. It. The other Rowan products that I have are the quads. So I have two quads. The first one that I bought was 1111. I bought this last year, I think at Black Friday. Um, and this is what it looks like. It's beautiful. Love this. All of these are really textured cream shadows. They give me this luxury vibe, very simplistic because I do love to do one shadow looks with these, but they have the sparkle and texture that I so desire and that a lot of brands don't have. So it's just the best of all the worlds to me. I really enjoy these. They do crease. So keep that in mind. I don't mind that. I don't know. I don't expect my makeup to be bulletproof. And so in those cases, I tend to just like tap out with my finger. I also have been using it with my MAC Paint Pot and that really wasn't the best primer. It creased on me almost all the time. So I'd really love to know if you found a primer for you that works where this won't crease. Let us know down below. Anyway, I loved this so much that when I think I got this a little bit after it had come out, but this is the Mood Forever quad and it's just so beautiful. I love this. This one doesn't have all of the same textures as the 1111 quad. This one has a few other ones that are just kind of creamy and shimmery and don't have that just like beautiful textured sparkly look. Some of them are, but not all of them. So I, if I had to recommend one, I do like 1111, but I still love this. I still think it's really great. I just love those textures. I wish all of them were that. And these two make me definitely want to pick up the other two quads. I think I'm going to look out for them for Black Friday, see if they're on a decent enough deal. I by no means need them, but I definitely would love to have them in my collection because I think these are just such great, easy to reach for products in my collection that make me feel really beautiful and that's something that I've really been focusing a lot on at least in this last year or so is that I really want to feel beautiful and sometimes that's in a really sparkly bright colorful look and sometimes it isn't and I don't want to like feel like one or the other is bad or good I just do whatever the f I want and I feel fucking good in and these give me that feeling that's all I know and I love it the last lip product I want to talk about are these lip pencils from NARS these have been uh, in my collection in and out since forever, like for eight years. These are a tried and true product in the community. Like these have been raved about for a long time. I think they're really star products in NARS's line. And these are the velvet lip pencils. I am someone who loves a lip pencil formula and formatting. So I love that you can easily put this on your lips and it's precise enough just from its own tube where you don't have to necessarily have a lip liner. Although I love lip liner. So if I can use a lip liner, I'm gonna. <laughs> I just like this formatting uh, definitely over like a traditional bullet lipstick that definitely has this going for it. Um, the first one I ever added to my collection was Bettina and I really enjoyed that. I only more recently let that go and I had that probably for eight years. Like. It was sad, I had to let that go. After I bought Bettina, I bought a holiday set of the minis, again, probably like seven years ago. And one of the colors in there, I think it was called Iberico. It was a beautiful hot red orange and I used that so much. Again, you guys, I had to like pry it from my own dead hands. No, but you know, like I had to like really be like, Lauren, this is too old. Like stop being disgusting to get rid of that. So uh, I finally got rid of that. But over time, I've definitely collected colors here and there. It's definitely a product I look out for again on a sale because I don't mind having a couple different colors of especially lip products. Those ones to me make sense. I definitely have colors that I wear more often, but I do like playing around with any really lip color. Like I like so many different lip colors. So for the colors that I have currently, I have Dragon Girl. It's kind of a pinky red though. So that's Dragon Girl. This was a free sample. I love getting the minis as like free perks and samples and whatnot. And this one's called Let's Go Crazy. It's like a hot pink. It's more of like a warm hot pink. And then this one was one I got through a boxy charm. And this is the shade Dance Fever. This is a beautiful like 
more 90s neutral type lip, like more of a brown neutral. It's so stunning. And um, this is definitely something that I have my eye on to get a couple more. I definitely prefer the minis because I don't mind having the shorter stick and having more colors. I know that Sephora has some mini sets available, I think for the holidays, but also kind of all the time. So that might be a good way to try them out. They pair them usually like a neutral with a red, one's more wearable, one's maybe for like going out at night. And I just, I love how skinny they are. Like these are just such good products. Love having these in my collection. And I'm definitely on the lookout. I want to get Dolce Vita. I know that's like a very classic NARS color. Yeah, they're just so good, you guys. They're really, really good. I wouldn't mind even getting Bettina again. Last three things to talk about are all eyeshadow. So strap in, prepare yourself for sparkles. Like we got a lot to talk about. These are gonna come as no surprise, I feel like. The KVD Dazzle Sticks are so good, and you guys, I got the shades I've been wanting so bad. They finally came in stock on the KVD website, and I freaking jumped on it. I was like, finally, thank goodness. When these first came out, I picked up Electro Bolt online, didn't see it in store, um, and I was like, I guess I'll get this. The colors I wanted were already sold out, but I saw the Instagram viral video of someone going, all, like that with their eye and it was so sparkly so pretty with the stupid filter on I was like I want it so I bought Electro Bolt and I'm so glad this is the one I started with because it's stunning I love this this is it's probably my second favorite color I think that's how I would rank it it's a beautiful gold with a red base so it has like a duochrome to it it has this beautiful teal and blue uh, sparkle on top of that like just stunning it's subtle and beautiful I love tapping these on and kind of layering them with my finger that's my favorite way because I can build up and have a little bit more control over that product. If you go straight in, you might get a little scaly, so just warning, um, but I have no issues doing it the other way. And then these dry down in place, which is great if you want like a longer lasting product. So then after trying that, I was like, I'm gonna get every shade. <laughs> so I went in and actually they had a few at Sephora in person. They only had three other shades. The other two I wanted were still sold out. I was like, oh, fine. In that trip, I picked up two more. So I picked up the silver, which is called Thundercloud. And I also picked up the Ruby, which is called the force field. The one I didn't pick up that they had was like the bronze one. And that was because I didn't find that it had sparkle. Like it was just kind of a metallic, but it didn't have something special and extra to it like the other shades did. So I left that one behind and I still don't have it. And there's this part of me that wants to complete the collection now that I have the other two I've been like searching for and pining after, but I'm going to hold off because again, it's like, it's not about completing the collection, it's about having good products and I've already decided and know that that one's not good for me, so I'm not gonna do it, hold me to that. <laughs> anyway, the last two that I finally got that I really wanted were Flash Storm. This one's, oh, I love Flash Storm. This one's so pretty, it's like a purpley taupe. So, so good, you guys, and it has like a blue kind of sparkle to it as well. Love this, and these are really great if you want a little bit of duochrome, but still so neutral, like they're still not too loud and in your face. These might be a really good option for you. And the last, this is kind of the champagne of the group, and this one's called Hail Surge. And I like this one. Um, it's just a really nice like wearable color, but this one doesn't have really any duochrome. It has a little bit of sparkle. It's not bad, I don't regret it, but definitely I feel like if I were to suggest ones, the other four are more my favorite. I feel like these purchases are the epitome of this video where it's like I just kept going back for more. I love them so much. The last two items I have to talk about are very similar. I'm gonna start with these from Holika Holika. These are the flash shadows. I got these specific specifically off of Yes Style. And technically these were PR, but I picked them out. So initially I picked out the shade Moon Flash, AKA Moon Flesh. I was like, oh, let's try it. I was trying out the topies, you know, the cool tones. And my goodness, when I opened this, I couldn't have been happier. I literally couldn't have been happier. There is nothing sparklier or shinier. I'm telling you if there's one of these shadows that you pick up, if this color seems like it will suit you, this is the one you need, okay? And you can thank me later. I promise that you will be thanking me later. <laughs> it's so good. This is just stunningly beautiful. It has a very high shine. It's very metallic and sparkly, and it's absolutely stunning. There is nothing like this. I've not found a shadow. I feel like that's like this, okay? So that's how I felt about this, and I was like, holy shit, I'm getting the others. <laughs> um, so I picked up these also on the next time that I got some stuff from YesDal. I was like, hell yeah, I'm getting these. So I picked up the rest in this collection. There are only four in this specific formula. I believe they're on the same listing. I'll have them linked down below, but I've tried some other Holika Holika shadows that seem similar to these, 
not the same, okay? Abort mission, don't get those ones. They are not the same as the flashes. So make sure whatever you're getting, I think there's star flash, champagne flash, rose gold flash, moon flash, okay? Those are the four. Anyway, this next one is called rose gold flash, I believe. So good, another one. If you want something warmer instead of cooler, you want something with more pink, same shine and just shimmer and metallicness, you're gonna love it. It's like this semi-pressed pigment. It almost feels kind of wet, but it's not. It's so good, oh, it's so good. This next one's called Champagne Flash. This is more of like a peach. This one is really beautiful if you like like a lighter lid shade, and this one has more of like, yeah, that warmth, almost like a gold. And then last, and one I tend to use a lot for like adding this like really beautiful wet white shade um especially sheared out that's how i like to use it it almost looks wet on the skin but this one i believe is star flash and it's like a silvery white i just love it i love tapping it over things to add that sparkle on the brow bone like i said all of them are stunning um you might not need all of these you might pick up one or two or the colors that suit you or you think you're going to use the most if you're looking for one shadow like lid shades these are definitely the two you're going to go for rose gold and moon flash flash <laughs> i said moon flash for so long it's hard to not say it but highly recommend these absolutely stunning and really i haven't found anything quite like them the product i'm going to talk about next is the closest but they're still definitely different from each other all right and rounding out this 10 product list which had way more than 10 products since we're talking about duplicates here if you've been here a while you probably know and it might sound like a broken record but i love the metalist shadows from touch and soul they are so good you guys these used to be sold at sephora i don't believe they are anymore these were on my list for so long and I think I, the first one I ever picked up I think either I got 20% off like with the VIB sale last year or maybe the year before that and then once I had those I was like done I was like okay I need all of them and so anytime I found them on sale I I snatched up any color I didn't have like this was a product that I was like I, I want every single one like every single one and they're beautiful again if you just want single shadow sparkly goodness and you want a more minimal collection I don't think you need all of them but these are gonna do you like they're so stunning so probably my favorite one is hollow mulberry. It is stunning and beautiful. Again, these are kind of like a semi-pressed pigment. These aren't wet feeling though. They're a little bit drier and I feel like a little bit more sheer initially. You can build them up, but they just have so much sparkle. They're so stunning. And for these, I definitely suggest keeping in the plastic little thing over them so that they don't absolutely crumble into dust because that's happened to me. I love hollow mulberry. Oh, I think the two that I got initially actually were maybe PR. Maybe that's what made me do it. And then I bought just hollow mulberry and then I bought the others. I think that's maybe how it actually happened. So anyway, another one I really love is Sun Aurora. This one's stunning. If you want like a really shimmery greeny gold that has like this slight reddy pink base to it, this is the one. It is stunning and I abs, look at that green. Oh, I love this one. Again, nice and duochrome as well. Super sparkly, you're gonna love it. Another one that's great if you want something more champagne, mine is really busted, is called Cream Peach. And that's exactly what it is. It's just like a creamy, champagne-y, peachy shade. These last ones I picked up all for like five bucks, I think, on uh, BoxyCharm. I was like, hell yeah, when they were that cheap, I was like, I'm getting every single one that I don't have. So this one here is beautiful. It's called Aurora Taupe. Another one I do highly recommend, especially if you want a taupey. It's like a cool tone brown, and it has like a pink almost shimmer in it. Stunning, stunning shade. I have two different bronzes. One is called Golden Tangerine, one's called Honey Brown. I find both of these are quite similar to each other. And these ones aren't duochrome, but they're gonna give you such a beautiful shimmery metallic bronze. So if you love neutrals, but you want that shine, these are gonna be great for you. Honey Brown definitely is a little bit deeper and maybe a little less orange, but I find they're, they're quite similar. So that's Honey Brown, that's Golden Tangerine. And then last, this one is called Persian Rose and it is a beautiful like rose shade. This one's great and the last three really would be absolutely stunning, like sultry all over the lid looks. So love all of those. If you want something metallic, sparkly, foiled, just stunning. 
I suggest them. I think they're great little pots. I especially suggest them on sale, but I do think that they're worth the full price as well, especially if you're just getting one or two. I think you'll be really happy with them. All right, guys, we made it to the end. I hope you made it to the end. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing the products that I liked so much. I went back and bought more and like kind of built up my collection over time, got more colors. They're that worth it to me for the most part. A couple of them were not, but overall I'm really happy that I have multiple of these, which I do think is quite rare for my collection. So I hope you enjoyed. I'd love to know what products you have in your collection at home that you've gone back for more. I had a few that I didn't mention, um, so maybe in the future I'll do a part two, but I'd love to know what products you guys love at home. And uh, other than that, thank you so much for being here. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you tomorrow in basically the second part, the spin-off alternate universe all in bitch mode version of this video. So I'll see you in that one tomorrow. Bye guys.